Today I'll be showing you guys the fastest way to level up right now in NBA 2K23. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe. This video applies to both old gen and new gen. If you guys don't know, both level systems are pretty much the same. They have the same season prizes, all the different things. And again, this video applies to both old gen and new gen because both, all of these different methods that I'm be using today are in both gens of the game. But these rewards are actually pretty decent this year. You have three My Team tokens at level six. You get some skill boost at level seven. Doctor Disrespect. Uh, mullet and headphones is definitely a little bit interesting at uh, level 8 there. You also get an XP coin at level 10. You guys can see all this different stuff, man. So clear face mask, I think, is also a little bit interesting. Uh, now our XP coin, though, at level 18. Um, you know, most of the usual stuff that we have. Mountain Dew, Dr. Disrespect stuff. Uh, it's I don't know what they're doing with Dr. Disrespect this year. It kind of came out of nowhere, I feel like. But a life jacket, level 29. Two-hour XP coin, level 28. You got the Mountain Dew bike right there. Uh, you got the vest right there for Dr. Disrespect. Uh, you have my team limitless pack right there at level 35 you have the two hour xp coin at level 37 the season one suit is awesome you also have the plus one badge point which is huge and then the four seater golf cart once you guys reach level 40. so there's actually a lot of really really good rewards this year and i'll be helping you guys level up right now in nba 2k23 before we do though again make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe we are super close to 15,000 subscribers and let's hop into the very first method i do want to say that the most important thing really for leveling up in nba 2k23 is your teammate grade Focus on the teammate grade. I'm telling you guys, the teammate grade is what will get you guys that rep and which is really what will help you guys level up. So obviously playing park games and stuff like that will help you, but try to get the best teammate grade possible. So don't be like doing dumb crap, like trying to get steals and stuff that's going to lower your teammate grade. Don't take dumb shots. Uh, don't turn the ball over. There's things like that. Just try to increase your teammate grade, make good passes, get some assists, and don't just like ball hog the entire time because that will help you guys level up even more. It's your teammate grade. Your teammate grade is the pretty much deciding factor of whether you guys will level up fast or not. I do also want to say, though, if you guys go to the pause tab and then go to seasons and go down to XP coins, XP coins are very, very important. And this can definitely help you guys get, obviously, double XP and get you guys two times the amount of level XP than normal. That's what a double XP token is. But the way you guys get these is by obviously taking a look at the old season rewards. You guys could see those in the uh, that we were taking a look at it earlier. You guys get some XP coins that way. However, they also do have locker codes all the time that 2K posts over on Twitter. I have videos talking about these locker codes all the time on the channel. So again, subscribe to those post notifications on so you guys don't miss those locker codes. But uh, they, they usually put out, you know, probably two or three XP tokens uh, through locker codes, you know, throughout the year. So I'm sure we'll end up getting one. I'm almost positive we will end up getting a uh, season XP token for sure eventually from uh, one of those soccer codes but also if you guys pre-ordered the game i believe you got a two hour double xp token which is pretty huge i got banned on my main account so i had to make a brand new account and didn't get it but you guys should have a double xp token sitting there for two hours if you guys have not already used it so a lot of xp tokens that you guys could get for pretty much free by getting locker codes and just progressing through the season normally so definitely make sure you guys use these xp tokens though because that's huge double xp is huge it'll save you guys double the amount of time of leveling up to level 40 so make sure you guys do that but overall if you guys are looking for the best game mode to play i don't think wreck is too terrible although it takes a long long time to do but otherwise if you guys have a good teammate in twos and you guys are throwing up lobs to each other and just getting really really good teammate grades in twos that is probably what i would play i think twos are definitely the best way to go it and level up in the uh, best game mode to really level up in nba 2k23 something else that you guys want to do especially right now if you guys are watching this when this video first dropped but even throughout the entire season of nba 2k23 is to take advantage of these events and there's an event right now that can get you guys double xp which i highly recommend and by the way you guys get four times your xp if you guys use a double xp token while using your double xp event xp so you guys can get four times the amount if you guys go ahead and take advantage of certain things so right now there is actually an event in 2k23 next gen but there's also going to be obviously events in current gen as well so take advantage of those if you guys are on current gen but up over to season events here you guys can see all the different events that we have so if you guys are watching this within the first 13 hours this video has been uploaded uh, there's actually a pop-up shop right now which i'm gonna take a look at in a second here but if you guys just wear the clothes if you guys spend 1500 vc on the clothes from this pop-up shop in your uh, affiliation you guys can go ahead and get double xp that is huge right now so make sure you guys do that and eventually we'll have like club 2k two times badge progression that's awesome uh mobile one grand prix all this different stuff man that you guys can go ahead and get double xp on the 24th we have two times rec xp and there's gonna be again different events in current gen that you guys can go ahead and grind in order to get double xp but if you guys want to take advantage of this event right now just so you have to head over to like these pop-up shops here and go ahead and take a look and buy the uh, 2k deer stuff the 2k day stuff here so there's different types of clothes here the 2k all day hoodies the uh, gamer hoodies any of these you just have to buy one of these man and once you guys buy one of those and put it on, you guys get double XP. And you guys know 
that uh, you have double XP because there should be like something over your head like this right here, the 2K day two, uh, 23 right here. So those guys are getting double XP because they're wearing the 2K day stuff. So really simple to go ahead and do and it will get you guys double XP. And again, if you guys use a double XP token that you guys have, that'll get you guys four times XP. That's how a lot of people you guys are seeing are like level 30 already and level 28. I'm sure there's like a really high level guy in here. Uh, yeah, this guy is literally level 23 right now and a 92 overall. Uh, first off, he needs to touch grass. But also, he is wearing that 2K deer, the 2K day gear. But just overall, really, it's a great, great method to do is to take advantage of these events and obviously use your XP tokens when you guys can and when you guys can actually play the game. So, so four times XP is absolutely huge, and I highly, highly recommend taking advantage of that. Something else I want to take a look at, though, also in the affiliation, is the wheel spins. The wheel spins are very, very important. You guys have to take advantage of these. So you guys have to hop over to your affiliation if you guys are on next gen, and there are wheel spins on current gen. Although I'm not 100% sure what it looks like this year. But you guys can get to your wheel spin by two different ways. You can go exactly right to the middle of the map, which is right here. You can go to your different affiliation statue. Or you can go right to your affiliation. So I'm in the Beast of the East right now. So we're going to go ahead and head over there. And uh, once we're in the Beast of the East, we can go ahead and travel there. And we have to go ahead and find the waypoint. And we'll go ahead and make our way to the statue. Deal wheel spin. And there's a chance that we get double rep XP. So, or double level XP. You get X... I'm not sure if you can get XP tokens. I'm not sure if I remember that right. But I believe it's just two times rep, if I'm not wrong. I think it's just called two times rep that you guys can get from your uh, daily wheel spins on both current gen and next gen, or last gen, whatever you guys want to call it. And uh, so we're going to do our wheel spin right now, and we'll see if we can get that double rep. Uh, but also, there's like chances you guys get like, I saw someone get a million VC. I saw someone get 250,000 VC. I don't know if it was Photoshopped or what, but apparently people have been getting some uh, real nasty stuff out of these. So right here, we got five Gatorade per category. So honestly, not that bad of a wheel spin. So not bad at all right there. But again, there was a, there was a chance that we get two times uh, two times rep and all that different stuff. But this resets every single day at 3 a.m. Eastern. So every single day. You guys can check the uh, status right here, by the way. Daily reward available in 15 hours. So uh, th 3 a.m. Eastern. This will go ahead and get reset. You guys can do it every single day. So really, really awesome right there. Get you guys a lot of VC. You can get you guys a lot of uh, rep. Get you guys Gatorade boost, all that different stuff, man. So a great, great way to go ahead and potentially level up, but also get some great rewards on top of it. And again, those are located in either the affiliation right here or directly right in the middle of the map right here. So there is stuff right in the middle here that you guys can go ahead and uh, there should be statues right around there. You guys will see them for uh, whichever affiliation you guys are with and you guys can do your wheel spin there instead. But overall, just the really the best ways to go ahead and get some rep are playing 2v2s. If you guys want, just throwing up lobs to each other, getting great teammate grades. Teammate grades, extremely important. Uh, your XP tokens. XP tokens are extremely important. Definitely go ahead and use those when you guys are actually able to play the game. That is very, very important. Take advantage of events. Events are also extremely important. Definitely take advantage of these events. We have a ton of these coming up, man. So definitely take advantage of those and potentially get four times your v four times your uh, rep and four times uh, level XP. So I highly recommend doing that if you guys are able to. And make sure you guys spin your wheel every single day. And that is pretty much the level method, man. So hopefully this video does help you guys out and get you guys to like level 15 super, super fast. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel for some more 2K23 content right here. We are super close to 15,000 subscribers. You guys are insane. Genuinely do appreciate you guys. Just leave a like on the video and subscribe right here. But also check out this video up here. YouTube has recommended that video for you. So give it a watch.